Carpentry receives many notes and letters sharing how the products have affected lives. This testimonial is a beautiful example of the mission of Carpentry. A woman writes, When I was much younger, I bought a wooden plaque from Carpentry with a scripture from Jeremiah 29, 13. And you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. She continues, I still remember how I felt reading those words for the first time. The concept of finding God intrigued me. The plaque has traveled with me through college, my first apartment, and ever since. Little did I know how this verse would impact my life. I was much older when I followed my heart and trusted God, and since that time I have been serving Him in missions and ministry. Some would say the plaque purchased over 30 years ago was a sign from God. I think of it more as a sign to God. One woman's faith journey began with a piece of carpentry art and to this day holds special meaning in her life. A lot of carpentry art has made its way into the hearts and homes of people around the world. Hi, I'm Heather Rumley. Welcome to At Home with God's Word. Even if you've never owned or had the chance to enjoy the art of carpentry, stay tuned over the next few minutes as we share with you how it can help light up a room and change a life. When my husband Dan and I started carpentry in our garage 37 years ago, we had no idea how God would use our products to touch people's lives. After all these years, I can tell you that the Word of God is living and active and speaks to others through the decor in your home. We have been blessed to offer art and gifts for the home with God's Word on it for your kitchen, living room, dining room, and all through the house. Can walls talk and tell a story of your faith? We know they can. With inspirational art from Carpentry and your favorite Christian store, you can be at home with God's Word in any room. Every life event is something to be grateful for. Home decor can bless you and reach out to others. Carpentry's art has stories of inspiration, blessings, and encouragement. Stories from people just like you. God has done so many great things in my life. My marriage, my children, and my many, many friends. I am so grateful for all the blessings I've received. Having God's Word on my walls in my home reminds me of whose I am, and it allows me to share my faith with everyone who comes in my front door. At Bible study, we talked about God's relationship with the Israelites. After all He brought them through, He reminded them to never forget the things that He had done for them. In my busy life, I remind myself of God's love with art in my home created by carpentry. Every day, the pictures and words remind us that we have so much to be thankful for. Sometimes art makes my heart sing. I love the cross in the picture I have. The words of the old hymn, Beautiful Savior, captures my attention and speaks to me every morning. The art of carpentry helps me start the day with a hymn of praise. Your home can come alive when the walls talk and deliver the message of God. The combination of visual imagery and beautiful scripture make a powerful statement for those who view it. Even at the office, the art of carpentry can make a big difference. This particular design was hung on the wall of a businessman, and the artwork was seen by a New York Times reporter who featured it in a Sunday cover article entitled God at Work. Over one million readers saw its message thanks to one man making the choice to put scripture on his wall. In my hallway, I have a collage of crosses. My family passes this hall every day. The crosses are there to remind us of what's truly important in life. We may be rushing fast as we pass by, but just a glimpse can help us stay a bit more grounded as we move through our day. Carpentry crosses are works of art with messages that we can remember and share. Once while a repairman was working at my house, he had to pass by my carpentry art on the wall as he worked. Finally, after passing the picture and scripture many times, he asked if I went to church. That one piece of art allowed me to not only share about my church, but also about my Savior. That showed me that you never know how God can use something as simple as art on the wall to help show someone the way. I see this image every day, but recently I saw it with fresh eyes. My friend looked at this picture hanging on my wall and began to cry. When I asked what was wrong, she said, I asked the Lord to give me assurance that my dad was in heaven. Just this morning, I told God I would trust him for his answer. He just answered me when I saw this picture. I could see my dad walking into the light in this image. She looked at me with amazing happiness on her face and said, Dad is okay. He's with the Lord. They say one picture is worth a thousand words. This piece of art from Carpentry was worth much more than that to my friend. You've got to read the book Heaven is for Real about Colton Burpo. I think he was four years old. He went to heaven. Great book. 
At the end of the book, he recognizes um, a painting of Jesus painted by this little girl, Akian Um It just, the book gives you chills. I mean, it's just a great, great book. Last week, I was, I, I went into a store and was able to find that picture that he recognized from the book. And it's an amazing story, and I'm really thrilled to have that piece from Carpentry. Your walls and home decor can keep God's Word fresh every day and speak to others in your home and office. What captures your spiritual imagination? What takes you back to the place where your faith began? What scripture challenges you or brings you comfort? What shows your passion? Whatever it is, your walls can talk, and carpentry art and gifts can help you be at home with God's Word. Join us next time for At Home with God's Word.